Dave here from the Photography Toolkit and I'm out at night and I'm shooting film and I'm really excited. Um, I've got my Nikon F6, uh, again I think it's just the best film camera out there and um, I'm using Kodak T-Max 3200, so really fast film, also really grainy and uh, it's all going to be artificial light and there's going to be a mixture of light and shadows so I'm going to try to take advantage of that. I might look for some silhouettes, uh, I might look for um, some shadows and see what they do and probably maybe even some underexposure. Um, so I might use some underexposure minus exposure compensation when I'm taking some pictures, but uh, should be fun. I'm mostly using a 24 millimeter f1.4 and a 105 millimeter f1.4 uh, lens because um, I'm looking, I, I probably might need them, that wide aperture to, to, uh, to get some pictures. So it's really dark, but um, let's have some fun this uh, alleyway here I got a telephoto lens and I'm just gonna look for some maybe something somebody to come out there's a guy over there on the side I'm gonna maybe underexpose a bit I just want this grain in here I'm just looking for this grain there's that guy there Let's see if I can get a bit closer there he's looking at me shooting wide open Okay, I got a mixture of light here. I'm gonna try to keep these guys in shadow. I want that guy to the back there if I can get him. Let's see what I can get there. Okay. Underexposed a bit. Try to get that shot. waiting for the bus here and they're kind of all looking at their phones I'm gonna try to get it without the traffic but I think I didn't I really like the scene of these guys just sitting there talking and I think it's just framed nicely there we go I kind of think that might be cool so beautiful scene here beautiful light just a bit, try to get the symmetrical. It'd be nice to get some human interest. Maybe I'll try to keep it straight actually. Get those lines straight. A little bit more aperture. There we go. Nice shot. This is one of those situations where you got this cool scene. And actually what would make it perfect is if I could have somebody walk past here, but been waiting for a little bit and nobody's come past um, but what I will do is I'm gonna underexpose by just a bit maybe two-thirds of a stop um, just to darken it up a bit and try to keep it symmetrical I'm using the 24 millimeter lens here give it a bit more depth of field as I said it'd be perfect if somebody would come by but I don't think I'll get that lucky Might as well just take the shot. Can I take your picture? Can I take your picture? Is that okay? Just, just can I take your picture? Look at the shot of these finished bowls here. I'm gonna come in close. come in a bit closer see if I can get this guy in the background if not I'm okay here we go okay I like to look down this alleyway and that person's gonna be right there there we go okay so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to frame them with the light behind them all right let's go in here Somebody 
been coming past. Well, I'll see if I can get this shot. Underexposed, but I'm gonna stop. Definitely put a few shots into that. Took a picture of people waiting for the bus from the other side. Let's try from this side. Grab a couple shots here. Just the people moving. Just gotta get the right distance away. So my reflection on the um, nighttime film challenge using the uh, Kodak 3200 film, um, I really enjoyed it walking around sort of and, and the different lighting situations. Um, it was great to have those two lenses, the 24 millimeter f1.4 and the 105 1.4 because I was able to get shutter speeds that I could work with, uh, so that was good. Um, the mixed lighting conditions sometimes you know, I found myself wanting to put somebody into the image. So I found myself waiting for somebody to be there. And I often found myself um, using exposure compensation. Uh, and I have to remember and remind myself to not uh, to not leave it turned on because in between shots. So I might have some interesting results with some of my shots. We'll see how that goes. Um, but that's it is. That's what way it is. You just got to live and learn. And um, I had a great time. Uh, something I definitely do again. And I recommend you uh, uh, you give it a shot.